Hello and welcome guys, this is a video where I want to show you how to rebuild the, the Megatech shocks for the Megatech FW01. Over here I have one set of Megatech shocks and my recommended oil for both 1.5 and 1.10 scale, which I'm using in, in both classes. This is the HR Gracian silicon shock oil. First step is uh, of course to put in the right amount of shock oil in the, in the shock. And uh, I always put in to just about the, the starting of, of the thread here. Um, I know some of you may think this is a bit too much, and of course it is. But, uh, but it's simply just to make sure that there won't be too less oil regarding the, the air in the, in, the, in the shock. For these shocks, they are shock for the front end of the car. I will choose the six and a half thousand oil. And when you fill up, you have to be careful not to let any, any air because it will just take you even longer in the other end to, to get all the air out of the, out of the shock. So I'm now very careful. As you see now, there goes a small bubble. So, filling, filling and filling and filling. Just a bit more. Yeah, that should be it. Okay, so as you see there may be, yeah, just about the the starting of the thread as I told you. Of course to 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 let all the air out you have to um, to to let the, the shock stand in some minutes to to get all the air out or you have to have one of the one of the vacuum pumps um, but I'm normally using just Just the wheel to to have the the shock in, just to let it be like this. It can be over here, just like this. Maybe like maybe like this. Yeah. And so shock number two. Just about the same amount and now we just have to wait for like five or ten minutes depending on how much bubbles that will pop out of the of the shock oil so so here we are five minutes later and as you may see most of the bubbles are gone and now we can move further to step two. Step two is assembling the two parts of the shock and um, what I'm always doing is I take the, the silver alloy part just down to something like this from the piston and put in the, the piston very, very smooth and carefully, not to let all the oil up and turn it just a bit around to make sure all bubbles are gone. It's maybe a bit difficult to see. And when this is done, we will take the, the bottom part the shock, put it into the, the the other part, and now I have to look where is the here this one and tighten and 
and what we're doing here is we are building up pressure inside the shock as there will be too much oil for, for the volume of the shock so now we just have the a shock which is filled with, with, with high pressured oil and therefore we have to um, to let some of it go to to uh, to tighten the the last uh, the last part of the of the bottom part into the into the shock so we'll just put it down here do the same over here again very carefully not to let any air in and try and get some of the air out so again tighten at least try and tighten and then with the wrench it's very easy in the beginning and then now it's very stuck so this is quite a a big miss so try and use maybe maybe gloves maybe maybe a lot of paper or, or what whatever you you like the very important thing here is if there are any air left inside the shock the air will of course go to the to the to the top end of the shock and therefore we have to keep the screws in the top at the top level of the shock so a little like maybe 45 degrees or something as we take one of the screws both screws are the same so if you go with the left or the right it makes no difference so we'll just take the screw out and there will be a lot of oil Oh, like this and insert the screw again tighten a bit and now go for the a bit more like this so now it's all filled and now the the rebound thing is coming this is the last part of of making the shocks and this is maybe the the most important part now the the, the damper is all out and this means when i loosen this screw a lot of oil will of course pop out as we just turned this one in and build it up the pressure again but what we want is zero rebound or at least as close as possible to zero rebound so as we have the screw out it's it's very free but I'll just keep it here to make sure I can close it very fastly again I move up the piston it lets out a little amount of oil and there it goes so just turning the screw a bit to make sure all oil is out and tighten boom and now the shock is actually finished we'll do the same with the other one out like this taking it down to pressure zero closing small screw and now closing the complete shock like this and taking out the panel screw again be ready to take the shock together now move out the piston again the screw is again free and just about there just be very careful not to and close not to uh, be very careful not to 
to take the the shock or the piston too fast to the to the top because it will maybe uh, maybe it will push a bit too much oil out and make a small space for for air inside the shock okay now both are done but we have silicon oil everywhere it's very nice just wipe the worst of it off like this new one This and this. Okay. So as you see, they are already moving out a bit. Uh, the distance here. But to make sure both shocks are equal, just take both out and put them together. And as you see. They are quite even. And try and let them be for a while. As you see, this shock is uh, perhaps a less, a bit of less rebound than this one. And uh, I may see maybe we didn't close this correctly. So I will just try. Yeah, this was loose. This may be a reason. Like this. And now there are a bit of pressure again. So I have to loosen this again. Push all the way in. And close. Like this. So, again try and you can also do it like this just pushing them in by hand and now this may be a bit still but not very much maybe also the same actually so now they're ready for race Thank you for watching everyone and good luck with all your racings.